two, three. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing a huge task of decluttering and organising all of my stationery. It's got bad. So I did it a few years ago, maybe just before I started teaching, and then I took quite a few things to school that I didn't need anymore. I was using it in the classroom. And then the rest I kind of just spread out between a huge box in my garage, a massive like junk drawer, and then a big like big stationery box, and then a few things out here and there. Um so basically I'm trying to proper minimize it this time. I, I know I have an unhealthy addiction to pens um, and I have too many and that's one of the main things I need to sort out. It's going to be hard, I know it's going to be hard, but I thought to make it easier for me I would bring you along with me um, and we can go through it together. It'll be like, it was so much easier. So wish me luck and come help me. <laughs> So in the past when I've sorted out my stationery I just go through one box at a time and have a look like oh yeah I really like those pens and put them back in the box and it's just really unproductive and I end up just keeping most of the things. So we so I recently watched the show Sort Your Life Out uh, with Stacey Solomon on BBC One I believe and I've fallen in love and I love how they empty the entire house, lay it all out in a warehouse and then the family go through each category and I can actually see what they have and what they don't need. So I'm doing a smaller version, I don't have a warehouse, um, so what I'm going to do, I'm laying out all of my stationery, putting it into different categories, um, so I put like my Spanish stuff over there, notebooks, different like cards, all my different stationery, and I'm going to basically be Stacey Solomon and sort my life out. Okay, so I've started making some progress. Um, rather than the show and putting absolutely everything out, like I don't have a giant warehouse to do that, clearly. So I've started with different sections. I've made piles, so I've got like a pile of like all my like Spanish stuff and like notebooks and things for that and flashcards. I've got a pile of like scrapbook stuff, a pile of bullet journal stuff, a pile of notebooks, an unnecessary pile of notebooks, um, a pile of like fancy like art paper and sketchbooks and things um so I started off if you have a look behind me I started off with pens pencils all that jazz and got like my washi tape and everything I will show you what I've got and then we shall try and get rid of some it's just gonna be so hard like pens is like my weakness I look how gorgeous these like array of colors look like how am I supposed to get rid of those let's go have a look here is the selection, I'll talk you through it. Some of these I've had since I was doing like my GCSEs when I was like 15 years old, so that's like almost 10 years, so it's probably time to let go of some. But this is a lovely set of coloured pencils, I've got um, the Beryl Broad pens and then also the Beryl Fine Liners. This was like A-levels, GCSE revision posters at its finest, like these got me through. I've also got the Paper Mate Ink Joy. Um, I had a whole set of those, so these are ones that have survived. A few random one of these. I don't know where these went. I did have like a whole set of them. Um, so these are my lovely pastel highlighters that I have a set of, and like a random blue one. I've got down here. Um, these are some brush pens, and they're actually really gorgeous. I use these in my bullet journal. Um, Stationery Island. It's, I think I got them from like Amazon. And they are just like some pastel brush pens for calligraphy. I've got my Papermate flare pens. I've got some random pencils. These are like 
random ones um these are like sketchy ones and then this is a packet literally of like brand new pencils i've got in here i've got some like gel pens um gold white and then this is writes i think and then you can paint over it and then peel it off so if you're doing like a quote and then do watercolors on top that's kind of like what i used to use it for these are like my fancier black pens like brush pens uh gel pens sort of thing and then these are more inky pens and these are like my black biro pens which i have too many of a few random blue ones sharpies these i bought when i was into um calligraphy and because they're brush pens and i just i don't know if i need this many felted pens like i literally haven't used these for so long i've also got some crayola color pencils so i've obviously got these and i've got those these are my like pride and joy daphne keep a nose even though realistically i don't use them as much anymore but i love them chalk markers um these are all my washi tapes i've got some in here and the rest are in here these i actually bought to do for my nails but they're like too thick so i'm probably going to take them to school or put them in like the gift party bag i've got and then i've got some like random other things um i've also just discovered that i have this full of random things too like tape flashcards more glue how do i have so much glue it's ridiculous um so yeah I could probably just add that to the pile, but I'm just going to do that now. Scissors, uh, I've got my label maker, this is like my favourite thing. And I've got some more labels in here that I got for Christmas. So yeah, um, how, how do I do this? Can someone come and help me, please? It's been a little while later and I've been doing some testing. I've been testing like every single pen to see if they work and deciding what I want to keep and what I honestly just don't need anymore. And I've decided to do a giveaway. I asked on my Instagram whether you'd be interested in that and I got a really good response. So I've got a pile of stuff I'm going to give away and I'll do a whole big thing at the end um, showing you what you could win. So stay tuned to the end if you want to win some of those things. I've also got a few things to give to like my cousins and probably my sister too so I'm going to just have a big pile of things to sort out so I will show you what I'm going to give you guys at the end of the video. So here's a little sneak peek of some of the things I've started collecting for the giveaway um, and then I'm keeping these to myself. I'm going to use these in my classroom. Um, apparently if you write on the windows they come off really easily so I really want to do that. I also use them for like tough trays. Um, I'm keeping this because I I'm in love. Um, I've kept my brush pens for like calligraphy, my bullet journal. I've kept one pack of pencils. I feel like that's something you should just always have in the house. Um, but I'm probably going to put them in one of my pencil cases so it's not so big and clumpy. I'm also keeping these, but I'll probably give some dupes, um, some duos, sorry, to like my family members or something. Um, so I don't really need like two yellows and two pinks. Keep my sharpies mostly just because they're like a bit gross and I don't think you want that. <laughs> um, I'm keeping my flare pens. I love writing with these. And then these are just some like random pens I've got that I didn't really think you'd be interested in anyway. Um, look how cute this is. Miss Aiken. <laughs> I'm gonna take that up to my classroom. So these are like random burrows. Um, I'm sure like my dad will have a couple and I'll just just keep them maybe I don't know I have this problem I just don't want to throw them away so if I don't keep them I don't know what else to do with them so that's like my main issue here um also these are like my like fancy pens that I love I'm just going to keep those and I've kept a few three pencils and then I'm going to give my um sketch pencils to my little cousin and then I've taken my other random pencils I'm just going to put them in my classroom because you can never have too many pencils I now need to sort this out and this and all of this 
SOS. <laughs> so my next task is my washi tape. Um, this is literally like an old tablet box um, that I printed off a label and stuck it down. I should use one of my hundreds of glues to re-stick that down. <laughs> um, and basically I have this additional one. Um, I think it was from Amazon and it has lots of lovely pastel colours and I really love them but I want everything in here. So my mission is, as much as I I love holding on to these. I need to somehow um, get rid of some of these so I can make space for those. So maybe like one row, just just over one row's worth. It doesn't help that these are really chunky. If I could possibly take this little set um, oh, out, that might make more room. Although it does look cute in this little box. This was literally like two pound for Amazon, and they're stunning. Um, so yeah, we'll see how I get on. If not, I can take it out of the box. But I just want one box of washi tape. I think that's all a human needs. I don't want to waste time. I remember tonight I found something here with you. Running by the roadside, wait up for me. I'd go anywhere that you do. Put it all out in the open, now we don't have to control it, put it all out in the open. So just updating you, I have gone through all my Spanish, um, I've just got a big pile of it, I don't want to get rid of any of it because I do really want to get back into it. Um, this is all for the recycling because in this big folder, I didn't want to just go through it with you because it would take ages. Um, I've got loads of things for like my scrapbook and my bullet journal things, um, mostly scrapbook really, like tickets I've collected, um, and little pieces of like, like tags and things ready for it. So that's just all there. And then in here I've got um, little scratch things that I'm going to do something with one day, don't judge me. Um, this is some wrapping paper, like tropical theme, ready for my Mexico scrapbook pages. And then also over here, um, this is when I did like a star themed month on my bullet journal. So I've just got some extra of that and some stickers. So I do need to figure out how to organize this. These are some random things that I don't need anymore because I got rid of stuff, be proud. Uh, so some empty folders. And a random pencil case. Okay, my next section is notebooks. Um, apart from these, this is just a pack of cards. Um, I like randomly collect them from little shops. So, oh, I love this one. So that's just going to be in my drawer, ready for the next birthday or event. Um, here are my notebooks, and I need to figure out which ones I'm keeping, which I'm getting rid of. Uh, this one is like almost finished anyway. Um, I love this one. This is what I had at school, basically throughout my whole NQT year. So I'm going to try and finish that up and then I'll eventually just recycle that. Um, I actually don't think I've ever finished a notebook. I always just like buy a new one. So I'm actually really excited to actually finish it. And then I have this journal. Um, where it has like, I've not even used that many days. But it's like day, the objective notes. And I love it. But I started using my bullet journal. So I started stopped using this because I was using my bullet journal. That's the that's the um the wrapping paper I was talking about. So because I was using this, I ended up not using my other journal. Um I don't use this anymore. Like I've still got like half of it left, but I've started a new bullet journal for my like just like academic and for work. So I don't know what to do with this, but I feel like I can't just get rid of it because oh look. I didn't even finish this. <laughs> so I got this, um, I have all like my YouTube ideas and things in here, so I'll keep this. So this is my keep pile. This is I have no idea pile. Um, no idea. This is a lovely little notebook, but I actually haven't even used it. Um, I think I used a couple pages and just ripped it out. But it's like a really good list, so this potentially will be going on the giveaway pile. And this, oh, I was so excited that I bought this. It has like today, and then it has, oh, tomorrow, and then like eventually, which I love. So this potentially is going in the giveaway too, and then I've also got this notebook um, that hasn't even been used yet. Oh, isn't that cute? I should probably take that out. <laughs> we went to this little like photography place. 
Um, so yeah, and this was potentially going to be what I use after this, but now I've got my bullet journal, I don't know if I need it, so I'll put this in the contemplating pile. And I've also got here, um, I used to do art, but I just feel like I don't have time to do art anymore, it's just really sad because I loved it. And this is really big, obviously I can't send this to any of you, but I might just see if someone in my family wants it. I'll put that over here. This is what I got free from uni, just like a little um, random sketch pad. I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> oh, and this is a little book um, that I was like, oh my god, I'm going to fill it with so many paintings. I literally did two. I did a kiwi, random, I know, and when I was dreaming of going on holiday, that's literally all I did, and I've got this huge book. Anyone else like that? So I'm going to try and put everything back in this box, apart from my Spanish stuff, because obviously that won't fit. So let's just see how much I can fit in here. I'm going to be so proud because it will fit. So with my pens, um, I put all my pens in here, like literally everything, and then I just put that set of pencils in here, so I didn't have that big plastic box. That is an achievement, I'm so proud of myself. Leave me at home, wanna lost and let it focus and we don't know where the room is, we still know you'll meet me at home. So I completely forgot I had this little box of like random things, so I'm just going to keep that separate. And then here we go, it's jammed full, but considering I had a drawer, a box, and this, I'm very proud that I now just have this. Yay! Oh, I do also have this, but I've got a little box of paint out in the garage, so I'm just going to add this to that. <laughs> So I'm finally finished and I thought I'd end the video showing you all the goodies that I'm going to be giving away. Um, so let's just get on with it. I'm sorry it's so dark by the way, I'm in my living room and I'm wearing black and then like there's like shadows a bit black. But it's okay, we'll work with it. So the first item is um, the Crayola Super Tips uh, washable markers. There's a set of 24, I've checked them all and they all work amazingly. Um, and then all the colours are here, so that is number one. I have sellotaped it closed though because the box is a bit battered, but all the pens are in absolute perfect condition. Um, also by Crayola I've got these um, coloured pencils, um, they're all different colours that you get. And they're not, they're all like really sharp still, can you, I can't even show you. They're still really big and sharp and they've barely been used, just again a battered box. Um, next up is this gorgeous little, I mean I used it for a little pencil case but you could even use it for like a makeup bag or something. Um, it just has this lovely like space embroidery and inside is perfect condition. So, lovely. Um, next up, these are like one of my favourites, it's really hard to let go of these. Um, but these are all of my um, Beryl uh, Fine, is it? Beryl Paper Make colour fine pens. I know. <laughs> um, these are a mixture of colours. A few of them obviously have like the, the fine rubbed off and that's just some are like look newer than others. But they all work. I've tested them all. They only, I got rid of one colour because it wasn't like perfect. I don't want you guys to have it perfect. Um, but these are all the gorgeous colours that you'll get. So these. Um, I've got like a random little box of stickers I thought I'd throw in because they're super cute. Um, so just like a little roll of stickers. Oh, that's cute. Today is going to be, you'd have that in like your planner or like bullet journal or something. I thought it was cute. Um, and then a couple of like pastel post-it notes because I literally have so many. I thought I'd have to get rid of at least a couple. So pastel blue and pastel green. And then I've got these um, Paper May Ink Joy pens. Um, again, I love these during like my revision times and... These will be perfect for writing in your planner or something. And these are all the different colours that you get. And again, I've checked and they all work. Maybe I'll use like an actual rubber band rather than an, like a hairband um, <laughs> when I send it to you. A brand new Pritstick. I literally have so many of these, I have no idea why. Um, 
but this is like brand new a lot of coloured pens so I thought I'd add just like a nice black pen um, so this one I've decided to add and it's the Lynx Saffron Max Gel so it's like a, like a really nice like black gel pen um, I've got some little post-it notes like page markers I love using page markers for school and I mark off like what children's books I need to like go through with them or something or if you're revising you can put it in your books um, to mark like textbooks or like whatever um, they're just little arrows you can use them as like page markers I also have this packet of helix pencils um, it says 12 there are not 12 but there are I think five five like brand new pencils not even being taken out of the packet so there's five of those I just kept them in the box for you um, four random like washi tapes really nice like metallic ones as well a few of them um, and they're all like pretty full as well and then the last bit are just a few like notebooks so this is the thing I showed you earlier like my little to-do pad like I use my bullet journal now so I really don't need this um, but I thought a lot of you would find this really handy so you've got the to-do you've got today tomorrow and eventually you can just sort of like turn it there you go like this you could even like add a magnet and put it to your fridge or something or keep it on your desk and then two notebooks i've got this like orange mole school mole mole skin oh my god what's it called <laughs> i don't know i'll type it i'll put it here <laughs> um it's like a really nice like pattern on the side it's got a little page marker it's from flame tree journals and it's just really pretty um I'll show you inside. It's not been used. I just have so many notebooks like sitting around. So I thought I'd give you a couple. Um, this is like the page. And then last but not least is this from Typo. Oh, I've just realised I have the price has been ripped off. So I was like, but apart from that, it looks pretty good. Um, so gold and dreams. And inside is made from 100% recycled paper. And then inside is actually just like a standard notebook. Um, and then it's got the little typo thing at the bottom. There we go. That's everything. And I'll also write a lovely little note for you um, on a piece of card because I have a pile of cards that I can use. I almost forgot one more thing. Um, this lovely little, like, what are they called? Sticky note set. <laughs> so if you open it, it's got like medium size, small size, big size, and then these gorgeous little page markers all these different colors and it comes in like a really handy little like black leather set um so yeah these are going to be yours to enter the giveaway all you have to do is subscribe to me on youtube follow me on instagram and then comment down below your instagram name so i can dm you if you win and get your address to post you all these lovely things i will also leave all the information down in the description and like the link to my instagram for example Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't already I definitely recommend watching Sort Your Life Out with Stacey Solomon on BBC iPlayer. Really recommend it. I will also leave the date the giveaway closes down below so check out the description bar. Bye everyone!